we found. Kodas lost boot. It's a bit um, frozen. pretty it's perfect um, I'll probably put some wheels on it just so it's easier to move around but yeah um, the seller said that uh, it's very well traveled over the years and yeah sadly I didn't get a year so I'm not sure how old it is I did find something similar and it said that it was from the 19th century, so maybe this could be that old, I'm not sure. I'm going to keep looking to see if I can find a year on it. Usually there is a year, but uh, this has fabric on the inside, so it might be under the fabric. And I'm not sure I want to uh, get rid of the fabric, so yeah, but it's absolutely perfect here. I have had to take a little bit of a break from art lately because I just can't find the time. But I did have time to make these posters for my partner for his birthday. And I also made these kind of prototypes, uh, poster hangers that uh, are that you attach with um, magnets. And I think they turned out really nice. My thought was to maybe add these poster hangers to my art store at some point um, and maybe offer uh, some sort of posters. I don't know, it's just on uh, a brainstorming level right now.
it's time for the dog's favorite task of the day, rat hunting. And don't worry, they don't catch anything in this video, so no gory footage. I've mentioned in earlier videos that I've had a few rats in my chicken coop and as it often goes with rats they've become more than a few now and I've been thinking of the most ethical way of getting rid of them. They can cause a lot of harm, they can even cause fire hazards uh, because they chew on everything and so um, that is why I want to get rid of them. I do have a few traps but I often worry that the traps don't kill them instantly and they might get caught and suffer. They also learn pretty quickly not to go in the traps at all. Um, I don't like the option of poison, not only is it the slow death for the rats but it's also a risk for the wildlife close by, so it's a very last resort. But then I realized that the dogs, and especially Koda, is pretty skilled at catching and, and effectively and quickly killing the rats. This video wasn't really the best example of his skills, but we've already got rid of Almost 10 young rats in the past week, so there aren't as many to catch anymore. A few of them also has gotten caught in one of my traps, and sadly some of the youngest ones do insist on drowning themselves in the chicken water bowl.
if that last segment looked a little clumsy, it's because it was. My hands are absolutely killing me today. If you remember in a previous video I said that there is something wrong with my hands. They are hurting and especially in the mornings I have a hard time getting them into a fist and they're just sort of sore. Um, it's varying a little from day to day but they have been sore every day for the past month or so. Luckily this week I do have my doctor's appointment finally. Uh, not sure what he's gonna say because I already got back the results from my blood work and I couldn't see anything off in those so um, Yeah, anyways, I am going to now make some Finnish pancake. So right off the bat, I would like to point out, because this is something that people always, people often get mixed together. So there is lettu and then there's panukaku or pancake. Uh, even as I looked up um, if there were any recipes in English for Finnish pancake, uh, they were getting these two mixed up. So lettu is more like a crepe. I would say, like thin, and then panukaku is usually made in the oven on a baking pan and then cut into pieces. So I am a pretty messy cook and baker, so I am not going to give you the exact instructions on how to make this, but it's pretty simple. I'll leave the recipe in the description box and basically you just mix together the dry ingredients, the wet ingredients and then mix it all together. Um, don't do the mistake I did and put your melted butter in milk that is too cold, it should be room temperature at least. Um, I was lazy and took a shortcut and it resulted in the butter getting clumpy. It didn't affect the end result but it looks nasty. And as always when filming in my kitchen I have to point out that the blue on the walls is not my choice and I can't wait to do a little kitchen renovation but there's a lot of stuff that needs to be done before we can get to that so we'll just have to live with the blue kitchen for a little while longer.